<laughs> Let's shift now to energy. Shares of Kinder Morgan falling after hours on news the company's board has decided to go ahead with plans to slash its dividend. And this, as Kinder Morgan has fallen more than 40% in the past month alone. Could there still be more pain to come? Larry McDonald, director, managing director for Societe Generale's U.S. Macro Strategies Group, joins us with more. Uh, Larry, good to have you with us. The dividend went from 51 cents to 12 and a half cents paid quarterly. Is this going to be enough, given what you're seeing in Kinder Morgan bonds? Well, I, I think so. This will give the bonds a nice bounce here. Uh, what's happening behind the scenes in the energy space is you have CFOs and their dividend policy. You've got the bondholders versus the stockholders. And uh, the bondholders have been lobbying the CFO, cut the dividend, and the bondholders won this time. So what do you, but in terms of your thoughts on Kinder Morgan, I mean, you've taken apart uh, debt, debt to equity, for instance. What's your sense about this company? Is it just buying itself a little bit of time? What happens ultimately in your view? Well, at SockChain, we don't, we don't cover Kinder Morgan per se, but I look at it from a, a credit perspective. I look at it in the market in terms of it's a big name. And uh, the, the equity components, so think of a pie. Uh, a lot of investors right now at home have been chasing yield, so it's very important you look at the company as a pie. In other words, uh, 40 to 42 percent of the company is equity and 60 percent is debt. And if you're at home looking on Yahoo Finance and you're just looking at the equity, you're missing 60% of the story. But net, 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 uh, that's not a, a stress situation. Uh, so it's, 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 it's an investment grade credit that's crossing over, uh, potentially losing its investment grade name, but it, it's not stressed. Uh, Larry, it's Karen. Let me ask you something. If you're a debt investor, would you rather see them cut the dividend like they did here um, obviously, you'd rather see them save as much money as they can. But do, do, in, the, in this announcement, do you expect them to possibly have to cut again? Or do you think they've done enough? A lot of times, Karen, uh, the companies that are in these situations bleed out the truth. They fight, fight, fight. Uh, uh, the, diff the different investors out there, the people behind the scenes lobbying uh, the CFO and the CEO. So uh, chances are, in, in these cases, a lot of times there's another dividend cut. And uh, we don't know what's going to happen here, but in these, in these situations, typically, uh, they, there's a bleed out of the truth. What, what happens with Chesapeake? I mean, Chesapeake and, and Kinder Morgan are sort of in the same situation where the stock continues to go lower. The bonds are, are trading terribly at this point. So what are their options? What, what does your analysis lead you to? Well, you know, credit has been leading equities. So in, investors at home right now watching us, credit has been leading equities all year, especially in the energy space. And in, in the case of Chesapeake, the bonds have been weak for, for a very long period of time. But once again, in this, in this case, you've got real stress. So if you think of the pie, 80 to 85 percent of the pie is debt. And the equity component is, is uh, 10 to 15 percent. So it's a highly leveraged situation. The bondholders are driving the bus. They're, they're going to tell, uh, they're going to have higher demands, and that's going to put more and more pressure on, on the equity. It's just a very, very stressed situation, the type of things that happen on the way to a default. All right. Larry, thank you. Thanks. L Larry McDonald of Societe Generale.